investment in a lasting, durable, and attractive poured in place surface. Now, we have suggestions to keep it in tip top shape to extend its life, looks, and drainage of the surface. With poured in place to maintain and um, keep the playground fresh, all you have to do is sweep it off or um, even use a leaf blower or um, a garden hose. It's usually that simple. Clear off obvious trash and debris, but remember loose dirt, sand, gravel, and stones can affect drainage. Left unchecked, they can act as an abrasive, prematurely wearing out the top layer. So, you'll want to do a routine cleaning of the surface every two to three weeks with a broom, maybe a leaf blower, on occasion, a hose. But sometimes it gets complicated. Let's look at some common cleanups you may face. Droppings from birds and animals, including the two-legged variety. Wear disposable gloves. Pick up what you can, but don't scrape anything. Scrub with dampened bonami or borax. Then, wash with a borax or STPP, tripolyphosphate solution. Soak it up with rags. The website has the remaining steps to disinfect and rinse. It's a porous surface and it's, um, it's a little bit tacky, so we, uh, we make sure that we can scrub that off, get it loose, and it just actually, we can let it dry and blow it off or spray it off with a hose. With urine, vomit, or other bodily fluids, wear disposable gloves. Wash with borax or STPP solution. Soak up the residue with rags, then disinfect, rinse, and repeat. Again, check the website for the remaining steps. Ouch! For blood, use disposable gloves to remove and disinfect by spraying on hydrogen peroxide. Let it stand for two minutes. Spray with vinegar. Let stand for two minutes. Use rags to soak up the residue, then double rinse with water. On this playground, the school has a playground and popsicles event. Food spills, uh, someone has a, an accident, someone gets sick on it. Uh, tracks in something else from the uh, parking lot. Just a little bit of uh, mild detergent if it's a stain type of material and a brush and a hose and, and it cleans right off. With chewing gum, apply dry ice. Regular ice is not as effective. Freeze it and chip it away piece by piece. For grass stains, apply an orange oil cleaner with rags. Soak it up, then double rinse with clean water. Moss, algae, mold, and mildew. Saturate with hydrogen peroxide and let stand for at least five minutes. Repeat using vinegar this time. Soak up with rags, then double rinse with water. For scuff marks, scrub with dampened bonami, borax, or an STPP product. Then, rinse twice with water. Gasoline, wash with detergent and water. Soak up with rags, then rinse twice. For tar, crayon, lipstick, tree sap, motor oil, or grease, apply an orange oil, goop, or Formula 409. Work it in, then soak it up with disposable rags. Lastly, scrub with dampened borax, bonami, or STPP, and double rinse with water. For paint, it depends on what kind it is, but start with warm water, a sponge, and a mild detergent. You may have to use rubbing alcohol. Let it soak, then repeat with warm water and a detergent, and soak up with a sponge. Here are some of the cleaning products we recommend. Aerosol cleaners like 409, hydrogen peroxide, orange oil cleaner, liquid detergent, paste or powder cleaners like Goop or Bonami, STPP, white vinegar, or a combination of vinegar and hydrogen peroxide in separate spray bottles. Your cleaning toolbox should include a broom, leaf blower, vacuum, hose if possible, cleaning buckets, disposable rags, gloves, and spray bottles. Harsh cleaning products to avoid include acetate, ammonia, benzene, chlorine bleach, lighter fluid, turpentine, any kind of petroleum including gasoline. Again, look for the full list on our website. And here's another no-no. We don't recommend a power washer because that would break up the glue and the surfacing itself. Other items to avoid on your poured in place surface are sharp objects like needles, razors and knives, and some footwear, including high heels, 
cowboy boots, shoes with cleats, or hard soles, all are bad ideas. That's your TLC list for Poured in Place. For more information on maintenance, tips, and tricks, be sure to check out our other videos at playgroundequipment.com.